Okay, you want to see a dead body? Okay. Come on. Yeah. Are you just kidding me? No. Uh, I don't know about this. Paul and Drayson. I work for Psychopathic quite often, making a lot of films for them. This time they've hired me to make a documentary about boondocks. And at first I thought it was just going to be another, you know, happy serial killing clown project. But then I got the, the CDs and I read the lyrics and I can't get a hold of the man. He won't call me back. He won't text me back. All I've got is this address for him. So we're going to load the van full of gear and we're going to drive on down there. Ready to go, guys? ATL, here we come. Hoard it up. You think somebody lives in there? My ass. Yeah, this this ought to be entertaining. Like this. Boondocks. It's Boondocks. Boondocks. Hey, Boondocks. I'm Mark Jury. Um, this is Paul and Drayson. We're from Psychopathic. Uh, Bob and Jay sent us down to do a documentary on you. I don't know anything about a fucking documentary. What the fuck? Boondocks has always been kind of antisocial, you know? He, um, you have to have the right conversation if you want to talk to Boondocks, that's for sure. Because <laughs> he, he doesn't respond to too much. The guy hasn't really said five words to me in the five years that I've known him. I know Boondocks, but I don't know him, know him. And I don't think anybody does. And I don't think for anybody's safety, generally don't want to. We drove all the way from Detroit, man, and this is Violent Jay's orders to send us down here, so, you know, I mean, we're kind of handcuffed. We gotta bring him back something, man. I fucking guess, I mean, if he said do it, I mean, I guess we can fucking do it. All right, can, can we come in? Come in. All right. You, you live here? Yeah, I live here. I mean, this is where I chill. I got my fucking bed, my old lady, fucking, uh, let's see, my entertainment center, um, Wilbur, my hatchet man, my pride. Um, this is where I chill out. This is where I write all my shit. Did, did you read these liner notes? Some. Like, I mean, I think this is real, you know? He's talking about childhood circumstances. My uncle tried to kill me, and that's the things that helped make me. <laughs> His mean, uncle tried to kill me. He wrote that in that one letter that we got from him. That inbred evil. I mean, look at the chorus. Everybody must die. Everybody must die. So look at it. I mean, I wonder if this is actually how he really wrote it. And this is, like, on the paper. He talks about being a kid a lot and always crying and shit. Look at that blood splatter. Uh, Boondocks music, I think, is special because it tells a story. You can kind of, when you're listening to it, you almost feel like you're going to get murdered or something that's scary. Yeah, personally, 
you know, just to hear his lyrics, you know, when he lets loose that demon that's within him, you know, it, it it's definitely frightening, you know, there's a frightening aspect to that. So I like to kill, I'm a murderer, murderer, making blood spill, I'm a murderer, 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 that's the way I get my kill, that's the way I get my kill on, so I like to kill, I'm a murderer, murderer, making blood spill, I'm a murderer, murderer, that's the way I Way I get my um, well, you know, a lot of his raps do come from his real life, you know? When I heard Insane Clown Posse rapping about murder, rapping about, you know, this personal violence, this fucking just, you know, knives, and and not, not necessarily like gangster style, but just murderous style. Not about drive-bys, but about actually walking up and slitting somebody's throat. I related to that. I think he's probably been through a lot of shit, you know, so um, he doesn't seem to have a problem coming up with uh, material or things to write, write about. Why does rapping about murder and violence, why does that appeal to me? I guess I don't really know why. There's no explanation for it that I could give you of why, it's more of why not. Whenever you're, like I said, you're around somebody for a long time and they don't talk very much, it can get creepy. Um, so I just try to keep them in the vocal booth as much as possible. As far as fiction or reality in the lyrics and in the music, it's not reality in the sense that I've gone out and, you know, chopped somebody's fucking head off and watched them run around the yard blood squirting out of their neck until they fall over. I've never done that. I've heard little tidbits and little pieces here and there just about, you know what I'm saying, the craziness his family was into and shit like back in the day and probably to this day as we speak, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you come up like that, I'm sure you still got some of that in you. It's just like you can take the boy out the city, but you ain't going to take the city out the